there are some some tasks that require a uh, manual input of the dates okay so if you go back to the to the um, document okay you have set starting dates for progress report 1 and 2 as um, progress report 1 and 2 as 2nd of September and 7th of October okay so we go back to the uh, we go back to our program so let's change progress report uh, one day to uh, what was it uh, 2nd of September so click on the plan start date So 2nd of September, so let's choose 2nd of September, okay, and then the progress report 2 is on the 7th of October, so let's change it to 7th of October, 7th, okay, I think because uh, these two progress reports, they are not bound by the other activities, they should happen at um, an appointed date, so they don't have any predecessor. Okay, and because it's a it's a milestone we have set before, it's uh, zero, zero days. Okay, uh, so once we, once we have changed the dates, then our graph uh, will be adjusted accordingly. Okay, um, and then uh, we also have to uh, set the finishing dates for task 22 and 23 as 10th of November 2024 task 22 and 23 so we find rows 22 and 23 okay so let's change these two dates to um, what was it uh, 10th of November so let's go to 10th of November one and thus 22 is 10th of November, November as well okay now we can see the um, our gun chart okay our complete gun chart we okay and this is our this is our gun chart. So when is the uh, expected completion date? So you can see that the project completion is targeted to be should be on the 21st of November based on our entry of all the durations of each activity and their uh, their dependencies. Okay, uh, from here we can view the critical path okay we can view the critical path at the moment is it is showing all of the uh, activities okay uh, everything but we can filter our we can filter our view to only show those tasks that are on the critical path so to to filter the view and uh, there's a filter button up here okay so let's click on filter okay and then uh, we can filter for the t critical path okay so let's uh, check on critical path tasks okay now if we click on save it will only show those tasks that are on the critical path so let's click save okay now these are the now these are the critical paths uh, the cri critical path activities okay so we can see now the, the critical path activities are stakeholder identification, the project charter, scope management, and uh, activity activity D2, um, and then deliverable tree, and then final project report, final project report, and final project uh, presentation so those are the uh, items on the on the critical path okay so just for tips if we want to 
if we want to highlight our critical path um, if we want to highlight our critical path on the on the list of activities what we can do is that we can color we can color these activities okay let's uh, to color to color these activity the to color the the uh, horizontal bar so what we do is that we click on the color button okay oh, first of all let's let's select all the tasks that are filtered okay so let's choose the first one okay and highlight all the way so we can uh, we, uh, okay no it doesn't work this way okay, so let's choose choose everyone so let's so let's click on that and uh, to choose these activities we use the control button so press one activity and press the control button to select the other activities while uh, while holding the control button click on the uh, rest of the activities we want to have it a slightly different color so that we can identify which activities fall on the critical path so once uh, selected press on the color button okay there's a color button and then we have the gun, gun color the, the green color is the default color so we change uh, to identify that this is a critical path let's change the color of this uh, this uh, task to um, maybe orange okay orange okay now it highlights uh, here and the, the gun chart also the colors are different okay so now if we remove the filter if we turn off the filter now we can see on our gun, gun chart those activities if you scroll we can see those activities that are on the critical path so if you scroll downwards you can see or oh, the green green items are not critic not on the critical path uh, but the orange items are on the on the critical path 